good word, friends. It's Totter here. It's still summer in the U.S., so it's hot outside. But I don't give a flying fiddler's f Let's talk about cold types. I mean ice types. Because they're cool! Man. Ugh. Really need to read over these scripts a few times before I get in front of a camera. Go with these videos with reckless abandon and this is the kind of shit that comes out. Oh well. So this week we'll be covering ice types. Rather distinctive type if you ask me. Audience, how many times have Ice Beam and Blizzard bailed you out of fights against like Lance and Drake for example? Me? It's like a shit ton. However much a shit ton is. But today ain't about ice moves. It's about the ones using them. And just like my other list, Pokemon you see here will have ice as a primary typing and are all based on my own opinion with no outside influences from competitive. So let's go! Number 5 Sfeel Random fact about myself I love bowling. I bowl league over the fall and winter every year. You know what I would love to add to my bowling arsenal more than anything else? A Sfeel bowling ball! Forget about using Rollout on other Pokemon. Roll out on some mother pins, my boy! And heck me if it wouldn't be the cutest bowling ball you ever did see. Seriously, look at this beautiful ball of bliss. You can't honestly tell me that you could remain upset about anything after taking one look into its beady little eyes. Oh, and when it needs to get around from place to place... <laughs> get it? Around? <laughs> from here to there, it rolls. Ah! Honestly, I could care less about these two messes that it evolves into. Some of you might not agree with me there, but how could you sleep at night when you let this turn into... not feel? Alright, I'm sorry. I'm losing my marbles a little bit. Marbles. Sfeel! But you get the point here. Sfeel is gosh dang cute. Now let's get to number four, I'm just gonna keep on going. Number four. Glaceon. I truly thought Game Freak was gonna be done with evolutions after adding a fourth and fifth member to the family. But just like those gosh dang Duggar children, they just keep coming. Only I actually gave a crap about these additions. And what perfect timing, because this was when my love for ice types was still at full throttle. To find out it was going to be represented by my favorite group of Pokemon made me so happy. Much like the other seven forms, Glaceon benefits from a slick and simple design. IMO, less is more people. Except when we're talking about its move pool. Good lord. It's literally capable of learning four different types of moves. And Bite doesn't even count because of its 60 attack. And while I'm on its stats, 130 special attack seems like such a waste because of the point I just made about its move pool. A wide range of moves might have bumped this frosty fox up a notch or two, but it's all good. From its sleek and slender design to its perfect shades of blue fur, Glaceon is a Pokemon based on aesthetics alone that I would love to have on my team. Number 3 Frostlass you guys ready for another unpopular opinion? I don't care much for Glalie. I mean, it's okay. But a Pokemon I could certainly do without. Having said that, I moved on from the possibility of ever using it in Gen 3 pretty quickly. Gen 4 was released in 2006, this was released along with it, and all of a sudden I was like, GET ME A SNOW RUN RIGHT NOW! I've banged this drum. Er, bung. Banged? Hung? Hang? Eh, stupid English. I've banged this drum before, but let's revisit the ways to impress Totter if you're a Pokemon. Step 1. Have a unique typing. Step 2. Have an awesome design. Step 3. Learn all kinds of cool shit. Step 4. Have a cool name. So simple. Frostlass was a part of a big gamble in Gen 4 where old Pokemon were given either new or extended evolutions. Some of them worked and some of them didn't. Put Frostlass in the category of did. One unique trait I like about this ethereal ice queen is that unlike most Pokemon that are evolved by an evolution stone, it can continue to learn an entire list of moves by leveling up. Probably due to the fact that it gains the ghost typing upon evolution, and it's not like a Snowrunt is going to learn ghastly moves like Will-O-Wisp or Destiny Bond by itself. So once you find a female Snowrunt and a Dawnstone, you can feel free to evolve it right away with no repercussions. Enjoy! Number two. Oh my 
God! Guys, guys, look! It's, it's teddy bear and heart melting eyes, snot sickle hanging from its nose, and what, what the fuck is this thing? Get it out of here! Yes, Cub Chew's cuteness is in an absolute league of its own. So many parts of its design contribute, too. The enlarged anime-like pupils, the digitless feet, the puffy tail, the snot? I love it all! Though I did find out just recently that its ice powers come directly from its snot. Like, huh? Does it learn Booger Blizzard or something? And when it grows up, its boogers turn into this icicle beard. Double, huh? I don't know. Whatever. While on the subject, I'd honestly love to include Bear Tick in this countdown, but I gotta agree with my buddy Dookie Shed on this one. Bear Tick was a missed opportunity. A white polar bear Pokemon could have been so much more than this. BT Dubs, go check out Dookie Shed's channel. Dude's hilarious. But I'm deviating from the actual entry. Well, now that I'm back here, there isn't much else I want to say about Cub Chew, except that it's probably the cutest thing ever conceived. Just don't shiny hunt for it. Because a shiny Cub Chew just looks like it's suffocating. And that breaks my heart. You all know the drill by now. Right before I reveal our number one pick, I'd like to hand out a few honorable mentions. Um, well, I guess I should be honest. There actually isn't any honorable mentions. There's a few that I would like to include, but most of them have ice as a secondary typing, thus not qualifying for the list. So to take the middle ground, here is a pick of those secondary ice type mons that I do like. Now, on to the number one. Number one. Lolan Ninetales. So this beautiful, beautiful Pokemon had me on pins and needles from the moment I saw regular Ninetales on the trailer up until it revealed the Lolan Ninetales. So for about five seconds or so I was rather stressed. I was like, oh my god, I hope it looks good! And let me tell you friends, Game Freak did not disappoint with the design of this Pokemon. Unbelievably stunning. For Serialsies, this creature looks like it was born from the dreams of Zeus. I mean, on its dex entry in Moon, it did say that this Pokemon was revered as a deity incarnate when it was initially discovered, so there you go. I didn't think there was any way Ninetales could be made to look more mystical and majestic, but I was wrong. Okay, so, you've heard my opinions on its looks. Now come the other reasons I made it number one. Get that impressed totter checklist back here. Step one, check. Ice fairy typing. Step two, double f***ing check. Design is amazing. Step three. Kinda check. I learned some cool shit. Step 4. Also check. Alolan Ninetales just rolls off the tongue. But I won't stop at just the steps. Ninetales is also a nasty plot user with access to a modest handful of powerful special attacks and 109 speed, which helps for easy sweeping in game. Let's also tack on the fact that this Pokemon looks like it was made for the Z-move Sub-Zero Slammer, which I have to say is one of my favorite Z-moves ever, and the one I used in-game the most. When I got my copy of Pokemon Sun, every spot on my team was open to anything I encountered, but I made sure I reserved one for my favorite Ice-type Pokemon of all time, Alolan Ninetales. And with that, we close the chapter on another Top 5 Pokemon list. The more I do them, the more fun they become. The more I learn about editing, the better I get at it. I just love it. But the biggest reason I love it is because I have you fine people watching me, so thank you very much for tuning in. I'm still taking video suggestions for future projects, so if you have an idea that you would like to see become a video, and it's something that I can pull off, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Next week I'll have another top 5 typing list ready to go. Thanks again, this is Totter, and I'll see you later.